We're here with Christine Lankin, Party Down South and Step by Step. So with all of this kind of throwback reboot business going on right now with Fuller House, would you do that with your show? Oh, I would definitely do a step-by-step -step reunion. I guess the question is, would everybody else, you know? Um, it's hard. I think a lot of us are scattered now. A lot of people sort of left the business and are doing other things. So I don't know how feasible it would be, but man, I'd sure love to get back together with everybody. Patrick and I always talk about trying to find a project together to work together again, because it's just, it was just too fun. We just had great times together. So we'll see. I've got something in the works. We'll see if it pans out. That sounds so cool. So we're at the Reality TV Awards. Awards. I want to know who's your favorite reality TV villain. Oh gosh, I don't know if you'd call her a villain. I think some people probably would, but I am absolutely, totally obsessed with Lisa Vanderpump. I love her. I've loved her since the beginning. I think she's really funny. I don't think she takes herself too seriously. Um, and I think she's actually comes out looking really good every season. You know, I think she tries to stay out of the drama as much as possible, but it's it's pretty hard. Although Brandy Glanville sure giving her a run for her money this year. Whoa, it's my guilty pleasure, I have to say. So you seem pretty forthcoming about your Real Housewives obsession. Is there any show that you would be embarrassed to admit that you watch? Mm. <laughs> um, I do watch the Kardashians. <laughs> I watch, I watch the taking of the Hamptons, I watch the taking of Miami. My husband is like, he can't stand it. He like, I love it. He doesn't understand why I love it so much. I do, I do. I don't know why. I like, I'm obsessed with this family. I think a lot of people are. So, you know, there you have it. <laughs> Me too. I totally relate. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.